Hello there everybody and welcome back to another episode of Let's Make a Game. In the last episode we created this cave and some of the world map. In this episode we are going to be creating the boss room. You've probably noticed that I have two more cave parts here. This is the west cave which attaches to this part here. This is the North Cave, which touches to this part here. So what I want to be doing in this episode is create the boss room, but I also want to create a somewhat of a puzzle element, though it isn't exactly a puzzle. So before we create the boss room, I want to create that puzzle, and I'm going to be using switches so first of all I want to find the spikes here I'm just gonna okay that I'm gonna place a where are you uh, is there one more about okay I'm gonna place a leverless switch that's gonna be here, actually it can be there. And I'm also going to create a new item in the database. So as you know our database is completely empty for this project other than a few things. Normally I would go through and add potion and whatnot but for the sake of this we will create something good. We've not used a key, we'll use this torch icon as the lever. We want this as a key item, consumable no, occasion never, scope none. Apply, OK. So now we want to put that in a chest. So we're going to use the west room for this and we're going to have it in this slot here. So I'm going to press control 3, item lever, and we're going to put it in uh, we'll use the blue one for this. Throughout this I'll colour code the kind of things. Blue is going to be the puzzle chest which is going to give us the lever so let's head back to the north cave and click on this event we're going to be utilizing a conditional branch to see if the item lever is in inventory and we're going to give it an else Bunch for the else bunch. Gonna add in base. Do that instead. Looks like there is a lever missing from this switch. Dot dot dot. I have the lever for this switch. Now I'm going to do a dim, actually, window, middle. Would you like to place the lever? We're going to do show choices yes, no. Gonna have that in the middle. Uh, if we choose yes, then we're gonna want to do, and this needs to have direction fixed on. Turn it down. If yes, we want to play sound effect. 
don't know how loud my computer currently is. Let me just turn it down slightly. We'll use that to place. Then we're going to do set move route. This event. Direction fix off. Turn down direction fix on. Control. Self switch A on. But before that. We're going to remove the lever. 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 I was been saying lever like lever, but it's lever, but it's the way I pronounce it. Uh, if not, we'll just leave it blank. Let's just go new, find the switch, and if self switch A is on, uh, middle. Would you like to show choices? Yes, middle. You want direction fix on? If yes, play sound effect. Three. Set move route, this event, direction fix off, turn left, wait for, turn right, wait for, direction fix on. Now we're going to turn on a switch, which is going to be spikes down, ok. We're also going to play a little kind of fanfare, but it's going to be a sound effect. Uh, do we have some? Um, let's see. We use the ice one. Then on this, if this switch is on. We want the switch here to be in this position, direction fix. Okay, and that's the main switch event. Now here, let's just open up this spikes. So this is the default, there's no event. On this spikes down because we want to keep the spike uh, look here. Let's change that to direction fix walking off, walking off direction fix. We want this below characters, and for that sake, we're going to set this to through just in case something happens. Then we're going to just copy this over here. So now let's test it. That's the first time I've seen them now load in. My computer must be really struggling today for some reason. It's fine. Get rid of that. Uh, so we need to head to the left first. Grab the key. I also want to check sank. So we got the key. If we look in key items, you'll see it here. Head round here. Head back. Oh yeah, I made this somewhat of a maze when I was designing it. I didn't want it to be too open like the other rooms. Okay, I also should have tested before I got here. Anyway, I have the lever lever for this switch. Would you like to place the lever? Yes. Now it's in there. Would you like to pull the lever? Yes. And these are down. Walk we'll across them. Looks like the lever is stuck. 
let's just create a quick save here and let's now go and create the small boss room let's do new no light caves boss room uh, width will make it about 27 by about 24 would work uh, rock floor rock cave not it's dirt floor not dirt and dirt cave uh, that is dungeon one okay and I forgot to change this to dungeon so what I'm going to quickly do is copy this entrance here we're going to place it here and let's just create the area that we want the boss to be in don't know whether I said it before but our boss is going to be a bandit you may notice that I'm not doing what I did in the previous videos because I've just realized that uh, I made the floor a bit too small we're going around so I had to add the two edges here and we're going to slightly modify this and bring down this wall like so bring up this wall here do that and that and bring that down by one bring that down by two take that away now we do the usual stuff create the pans here and there um want this get that get this not exactly doing it the same way I did in the other room it's fine uh now I want to place in the uh what one do we want because this is a bandit hideout I'm going to have three chairs a table like so and we're going to also put in a few some gold dust traits this is all stuff that they've stolen including this slot here a few barrels would work And we'll also throw a rope there. Now let's place in these cracks in the walls. Have this lot growing. That there. That there. And cobwebs. Also add one there. Put that over that. Now we can add in these rocks. So I want to do this one first. One there. Then these rocks. take that one away we'll do these rocks place one there put one there one there one there place one there and let's just place them kind of like this let's head to the north cave place these in I'm not going to change the facing because of the way 
player enters and exits rooms. I'm also going to modify this quickly. Just bring that down. Move that to there. Boss room. There. That's a door. Boss room. There. Copy. Paste. Boss room. There. Okay. <coughs> so now we have the boss room and pretty much the whole of light, low light caves done. We are going to start work on the enemies. So in this cave we are going to have bats. I also need to just check. We are using the side view battle for this. And I want to just change that to sword. Bye. Now it's just going to simply be called bat. Let's check what we're going to do for this. Now he's a swordsman, so HP is medium. Let's go about there. MP is going to be quite low actually. Attack is going to be around C, D, D. D, C, D. So when it comes to HP, 416, so we'll give the enemy 300. Actually, we'll give it 275. MP, 45, enemy, 25. Attack, 16, plus weapon. 15. Defense 14. So defense on you 13. Magic attack. You're a bat. So we'll do 12. Magic defense 12. Agility. They're a bat. They fly fairly quickly. We'll do 17. Whereas our player is doing 30. So we'll actually increase that. About 26. Luck about 22. They will offer 15, 10 experience, 15 gold, and we'll make them weak to thunder by setting this to a higher percentage, but they are going to be more immune to wind. They are also going to be resistant to blind because they're bats, they have sonar. So let's just copy this, paste, and we're going to add another enemy, and we're going to just use a spider. That's a soldier, spider. Okay. Uh, spiders. A bit slower than bat. Going to have a bit higher magic attack, magic defense. Less defense, slightly more attack. We'll give them 30 MP and we'll set this to about 285. Weak to fire. Uh, we'll make it so they're not weak for that and they cannot be poisoned. They will also offer 10 and 15. Let's create the troops. We're going to have two bats, auto name, and I want to position them in a way that is done for side view battles. I really hate that MV doesn't have this option. Uh, two spiders. Move that one to the front. Realize that's B, that's A. Uh, let's add bat and spider together. Place that towards the front, that towards the back. And we'll just have these three like so. Apply. Okay. 
and now let's modify the troops. So the higher the weight, the more chance you have of encountering them. I don't know if it starts with five. So I'm going to set bats to ten, spiders to ten, and bat spider to seven. And that's going to cover the entire map. Copy this, paste it in each one of these, and in the boss room, we are going to change this up so it's only on region ID 1. So we're going to set those regions now. Region ID 1 is going to be this area around here. I'll leave the entrance because they're not done and this area is going to be empty because the bandits are smart enough to fight off the monsters. Okay, so now let's go and test this out. We can run around and we are encountering two spiders. And because I changed the uh, class stuff, our HP is a lot lower. We are doing how much damage? Because that usually helps. 57. They're doing quite a bit of damage so what we're going to actually do is nerf their HP 285, 215 and 205 and we will lower their damage output slightly. Now let's head back in and test Do we actually have any skills? No, we don't. I was wondering if I actually deleted those from the class. Okay, so, bat takes, will take at least four hits to go down. Maybe five at this rate, by 51. There we go, it should be next hit it goes down. Yep. And we got a critical hit there, so next hit should finish it off. Perfect. And we got the experience on gold. We'd need to battle a few enemies to level up. So what we are? 23 minutes. Okay. So, what I'm going to do now is add in the treasure chests that are going to be located around. So, first of all, I want to create a few new items. We're going to create a potion. Recovers 30% of an ally's health. Consumable price, we make it so they're about 100 gold, always, and HP recovery 30. We will also get some FIFA recovers and allies, magic by 30%. These are going to be 200, and we're also going to have an antidote cures an ally of poison these are going to be 100 as well and for this we re remove state poison 100 bye okay uh, let's also check what we don't have on the player head so let's create a 
hat. We're going to just call this a leather helmet. Armor type is heavy. I don't remember what we set this to. Heavy. That's under armor. And that is a head. Uh, this should be about 120. I'd, have I done this? Okay. A helmet made from leather. Def plus two. And we will also add a new piece of armor. It's going to be. Actually, I'm going to set this to general armor because most people will be able to wear leather. Leather armor. Actually, I'll change it to leather. Breastplate. Uh, I made that 120, so we'll make this one 50. Def plus 4. And let's also create another sword. So, iron sword. Sword made from iron. Attack plus 7. That is a sword. It's going to be 180. It's going to be slash physical. That should work nicely. So let's put a few chests around. Now, for generic items, I tend to use this chest here. So, item, potion, item, potion, item, one ether. In the West Cave, we're gonna set this to be armor, a leather helmet. We're gonna set this to be gold this time, so we'll do about 100. Uh, have those chests down there. Have another chest like this. Which is going to contain the breastplate. Going to have a weapons chest here. Weapons are going to be inside. We'll make it inside red. And we also want. The odd and stay in there. Uh, that should work nicely. We'll also give the potion and the possible. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10 chests in this dungeon, which is quite a nice number. So that's low light caves pretty much done, other than the event. We still have to do the church here, which I'm still not looking forward to. And we'll also start work on the story. So, thank you everyone for watching. Hopefully, you've enjoyed this episode. Hopefully you've learned something. If you have enjoyed this episode, please leave a like on, uh, on this video. Also leave a comment and also give suggestions for what you want to see in the series. Uh, if you are a patron, remember that you get to see videos a day in advance for everyone else. Uh, even though these are schedule uploaded and I might end up forgetting to set it to unlisted at some point, which I try not to do. But all videos are shown first on Patreon unless I feel like it's not worth the time.
from now on, sneak peeks will also be first on Patreon. Uh, Terraria modding, Patreon, this, Patreon. If I do Let's Plays, maybe Patreon. But right now, I haven't got any Let's Plays back. For my speed runs, those will not be Patreon exclusives or exclusives, uh, early access. They are going to be early access on YouTube. Early access. Everyone gets to see it first. Anyway, thank you everyone for watching. Hopefully you have enjoyed. Till next time, goodbye.